<laughs> got another unboxing. <laughs> we got the freaking Razor, finally. The Losi Polaray. I know that's not what it's called, but that's what everybody's going to call it. Because, anyways, it's a Polaris Razor. Ray. And we got the blue edition. So, this is officially well, licensed by Polaris. It has a 3800 kV brushless motor in it. It has a heat sink on it with no fan. Um, it has a sealed metal transmission and differentials. It's got Razor Ray, just like the Polaris Razor, the rear independent trailing arm system. It's got a three millimeter thick chassis and a two and a half millimeter upper chassis plate on it. It's got molded plastic all the way around. It's got headlights, tail lights. It's got an SR6200 AV receiver in it that's waterproof so it's not in a box. And I am more excited about this one because we live at the dunes. Open I personally this own a Razor. And so this is like right up my alley right here. This is, this is one that other stores might not sell 30. as good, but I think us being at the sand dunes, I think this is going to be the best car that we have in the store for what we do. Nice cardboard, no styrofoam to ruin the environment. All right, so everything's in there. Plastic on the top to protect in case it bounced around, mm -hmm. rather than plastic on the body. All right, so let's take the body panels off. It's right here. You got a body clip right there. And then back here. Same on the other Too side. Too bad you can't just open up the door and get to your stuff. <laughs> so there's what the inside of the body looks like. Fully enforced. You got hard plastic all over the place. Full dash inside of here. It does have the actual dash. You can see that right there. That's super cool. And then it's got the actual Polaris bed. It's got a fake motor on the side. It has sway bars on it. Oh, wow. It feels good. It has BF Goodrich KM3 tires on it. This thing is beautiful the steering servo sits up really high i'm noticing i like this whole thing with all the wires up and the button on top yes. there and i will also say just from experience in the sand with paddles fan going to put a fan on here because very tight fitting body too where the only air flows down here and the other thing i'm noticing is these are well they're kind of short course style tires but I'm going to put the Dumont's with are the they, tributes. Are they sealed? Would you, like, would you like an eight? Oh, it's got a gigantic hole. So it's a huge hole. Sand ready cars, where they talk about sand on the outside of the box, is not sand ready. They talk about sand dunes like waves on the ocean on the outside. But you well, That's okay because these tires aren't getting run. I'm going to run the tributes up front and the Dumont paddles in the back. So you guys have to clog up the holes. It's not but, bad for RC cars in the sand, so, it's bad for tires. Oh my, my, my. That's low C right there for you. And it looks like something is made to get bolted in the back right there. Mm -hmm. Like they've prepared. There's the bottom of it. Well, there's also, you know, they put two holes there. Or maybe the hammer rate. The hammer rate also has some holes on the bottom that are This thing is not bolted. gorgeous. Weird glue jobs. Let's see how... Oh, the glue eats away at the chrome, just like on the RPM tires. When you glue them up, the chrome gets weird. So. Sounds like Metal Gears. It's actually got a decently tight center diff in it. It's got ABC on it. But see, lights. Oh, yes, lights. lights. Yeah, because the sticker—they look like stickers. Oh, but, but they're actual there's lights. There's actual lights in these stickers. Yes. All right, and it's got a big battery it's got tray. Got the in extra it. little hook in the. Front. Oh, good! It's got a tall battery tray. That's all foamed up too. 
Can you? So then I also want to get into the low C shocks. They're very, very smooth shocks. There's bump stops on the bottom of the shock. You have U-joint style, CV style. Metal axles. Those are U-joints actually. Those are full metal. All the way around metal. These link bars are massively tough. And it actually has the center center link brace just like the real one does. Need to get a little boondocker exhaust. Look at the exhaust pipe coming out the side. This thing. You know what I need to do? I need to get a 10th scale, 10th scale razor for the razor. So I can have it in the back of here like I do in real life. Oh, get like out. a 30 second scale RC car and yep. strap it down in there. I love how everything is really tightly packed inside of here. And oh. nicely clipped on. That's going to break off. Well, it doesn't it's, it gets tucked under here. Oh, okay. This gets tucked in right there. Well, let me see if I can find my 3S battery. You wanted a point size. You want to run your battery sideways? And then it also comes with servo horn attachments. So that if you put a different servo horn on there. Oh, can... and they're metal attachments too, aren't they? Instead mm -hmm. of plastic. And then there's the two bolts that you were asking for the bottom. <laughs> That's for this. Oh. Oh, yeah, the two the two holes right there. We don't want are that. for this with the two screws are in there. We want the most amount of battery get space this. you can get. And then, you know, these these remotes get unbound a lot of times. And so, it's nice that you got your waterproof receiver right there, so you just have to hold this down, turn it on. Hold the, the, the bad find thing about, button here, turn it on. But the bad thing about these uh, 6200 is that you have to calibrate you it every time. You have to calibrate it every full time. Full throttle, pause, brake, pause, full right, pause, full left turn, pause. It's calibrated. And then turn it all off and on again. It's See? Oh, it is solid. But sometimes when the... That's the, six, the easiest body to put on I ever Well, saw. it's a little... There. Yeah. When your 6200 turns but doesn't gas, then you just kind of got to wait for it to calibrate where you didn't get it aligned. There it goes. So now... Lights are on. Tail lights. Headlights. Okay. They don't have the fangs, the fang lights here. That would be no, awesome. No, pros don't have the fangs. Oh. That's only a, oh, that's well, a, it does say Polaris Racing, so maybe the racers don't have the fangs either. This thing is, oh my god! Okay. Yeah, I guess it is It is more 10th scale than the hammer ray was. Now let's go compare it to a real razor. It's just like that. Don't get offended by his Traxxas jacket. He's about oh, to put on. Don't get offended, I don't care. We support all teams. <laughs> Yeah, look. Arma! Oh, well, axial. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> Get offended by that, too. Consider it to be 10 scale? Get it from the front. Oh, well, this is a four door. Is there a two door down here? Four door. Four door. These are kind of these are so hard, though. Oh, the two seaters are over there. 
or they're all back in there. Maybe not, maybe it doesn't look like this one. Kind of all look the same. Except this has red A arms instead of red shocks. They're opposite. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go take it in the show. Alright. Well, I'm going back to back to the shop. Thanks for watching guys. We're, I've been very slow on videos. I have lots of them to make, but I'm gonna put this one out first because it is the newest thing out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.